Hey, Nicole Huntsman, your astrologer from ModernCosmic.com. Uh, I just want to give a quick little book review for those of you who are interested in learning the basics of the 12 zodiac signs, so sort of the archetypes. Um, you know, a lot of people, when they hear about astrology, they hear, you know, they find out what their sun sign is, they sort of think that that's the be-all and the end-all. Actually, it's just like the tip of the iceberg. Um, with astrology, we are talking about a language of symbols that hold space as a uh, describers or descriptors of personality traits, more or less. In your birth chart, everybody has, you know, we all were born, if you're here, we were all born on this planet that was surrounded by 360 degrees of um, you know, the sun's ecliptic. The, the ecliptic of the sun is as we are moving around the sun during our year, um, the sun's location in the heavens to us. So like when we're looking out at the, you know, the path of the sun, so to speak, and that's us that's moving, the sun moves through the 12 zodiac signs, moves through the constellations of the 12 zodiac signs. Now, in Western astrology, of course, because of the, the procession of the equinoxes, we are not exactly lined up with the constellations anymore, meaning March 21st, which is the spring equinox, um, that's the day that, in, in Western astrology, we base that day, that's zero degrees of Aries in the sky on that day, okay? So, at any rate, point being, once you understand the 12 zodiac signs, that's when astrology will start to become, if you're wanting to become a student of astrology, understand the 12 zodiac signs, understanding the planets that rule each zodiac sign, those are basics, and understanding the 12 houses that correspond with each zodiac sign. If you can learn these three basics, plus you need to understand aspects, but in particular, the zodiac archetypes, the archetypes of each zodiac sign, you then have this incredibly rich resource um, to draw upon when you're reading a chart. Um, okay, so I was going to just, it's going to be backwards on my stupid thing, but this is, this is Liz Green's Astrology for Lovers. And my friend Peter, who came here from New Zealand to visit me on my birthday, he actually painted that cool painting right there, which I absolutely love. But anyway, okay, he got me this book at a used bookstore here in Utah. And Liz Green is a, a fantastic fantastic writer when it comes to archetype. Uh, she's a poet. Uh, the way that she describes in this book, she goes through all the 12 zodiac signs and she dives into the shadow side, the high functioning side, masculine version, her, you know, a male Aries, a female Aries, Aries as a lover, etc, etc, through the whole zodiac. And she does it with such uh, richness, beauty, her, you know, prose, that it's, this is one of my favorite books for people who are just learning, maybe, or even if you know the 12 zodiac signs and you want to go deeper, fantastic book. So I highly recommend it. And I just wanted to give her a little shout out randomly in the middle. I always like, we'll flip to her if I need to kind of, with my job, because I'm using these same 12 archetypes, you know, all day long. Um, Sometimes I get into like a routine where I'm, you know, using the same sort of symbolism or imagery and it's nice to kind of mix it up uh, by diving into somebody else's sort of head and seeing how they're describing the zodiac signs. So anyway, good luck with your book reads. If you've got a good book that you like, please share it. Um, I love books. I'm always adding more and more to my collection. It's a disease. Okay. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>